where there was only despair what you see outside what you saw on Saturday through links what happened throughout the country what we saw in Paris South Africans from all walks of life who gathered outside of the streets of Paris flying the South African flag is to give an expression to our president Nelson Mandela this victory is a homage to our president to say thank him for his vision that only through sport is possible that we can unite our people your performance both on and off the field has represented you as ambassadors of a country of our dream united as defined in our preamble of the constitution we thank you sir Collis. we thank you jack we thank you rasi we thank you Mzwandile sticks for all your work. We thank you, Mr. President. When I met with Saru with the DM earlier when he took office, we said two things to all the major sporting codes, the big five. If we are to succeed, we need to do two things. Firstly, is to stabilize our governance structures. Two, is to stabilize leadership. What you see here, both from the point of view of the team as well as the federations, you can only succeed if you have a stable federation. Thank you very much. On behalf of many South Africans, many of whom I must just say, Mr. President, I appreciate your extension of a visit to other provinces. But I must say that uh, let's not dampen the spirit of celebrating rugby as a national team so that it does not become a regional team or a team of a village. There may be people from Muleji in Limpopo. There may be people from Zanin. There may be people from Nongoma. There may be people from Kwadla uh, Matlar who came out in their numbers on Saturday to support a national team. Not because there's a player that comes from there. And I think let's keep that spirit because there may be things that may just degenerate quickly to something else. We may find ethnicity at the end. That you know, you must come to the village because there is easy in the club. So we must avoid, but let's celebrate. In other countries, when a team wins, it just goes maybe one or two metros. That's the end of it. Because the spirit is to celebrate the win. And I think let's keep that spirit. Thank you very much. You have been two ambassadors. We thank you very much for that. We'll now open the floor for questions for uh, the top table. Uh, if I can, please ask, can you raise your hand and we'll try and get a microphone to you to, uh, to ask your questions. Z, did the mics work? Yeah, before, um, before we start, um, well, let's say more, uh, good morning, everyone. Um, Mr. Minister, Mr. President, Mama. Um, no, I just want to say, um, on behalf of the team, we we honestly would like to say thank you um, to the people of South Africa. Um, yeah, it's um, it's been a long and a tough 20 weeks that we've been together, but it's been four years that the coaching, the coaching staff, staff and management, management been planning, planning uh, for this opportunity for us to win back-to-back -back World Cups. When they first came, they didn't think we would win 2019. They were focused on 2023. They said this is the the year that the group can win because of the group that we have and how much more experience would be this time. And um, obviously things change and we just got better and better in 2019 and we finally came through. And I must say the support towards the end, and I also said it before, people were hopeful in 2019. Maybe we'll win it. But this time we could feel that people expected us uh, to win this World Cup. So the support and the videos, as uh, Mr. President said, honestly, we after trainings we would see or after games we would see what's happening back at home. And that's why we made the decision that we've already won the, the World Cup in 2019. It's not about us as players anymore. What can we play? We always play for South Africa, but we wanted to make sure that this one is for the people of South Africa. This one is for 
every single person in South Africa, rich, poor, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter where you come from because of the team that we have, which is very diverse team, which is very beautiful as well. We all come from different walks of life, different races, even though, you know, we, we come from different walks of life. We had a coaching staff who knew how to align us as a group, who knew how to put us together so we can focus on one thing, even though I have my own um, my own goals or whatever. I wanted to achieve myself personally. I'm playing for different reasons than what Eben is playing for and what Ox is playing for. But the common goal was the Springboks and the people of South Africa. So this trophy is also just for people who come from... A, in, in, in tough circumstances in our area, in, in disadvantaged areas, in, in energies that are not well resourced. Um, for the kid who sits in Sweden, who sits in Goodwood, um, who sits in Malmesbury, and for them to know, you know, maybe things are tough for you. You can't afford school fees. You've got no shoes to walk to school. You've got no food at home. And people who come from rich homes too, you know, who, who want to make something out of themselves but the situation around them doesn't look hopeful enough for them or give them motivation to think that they'll get there. This is 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 for you because we come from those environments, we come from those backgrounds, you know, Cheslin, you know, where he comes from as well, you know, we, we want to represent everyone because this team represents everyone, but we want the most important thing, we want people to get reference points, we want people to see how can I make it from this situation? Who has made it from where I come from? And you can look at this whole team. You know, we all come from different um, areas and, and different backgrounds. And also, we've also got to learn that as a team, we knew our cultures are different. So that also brings um, a lot of differences amongst the group. So Coach Rossi and Jock, he started teaching us about minding each other because I grew up singing Ikwijo. In the Eastern Cape, it's a big thing because we sing Ikwijo when we're happy, when we're sad. And obviously, when we when the team is about to play, it always feels you connected, no matter what you're going through. When you sing with someone, it feels like they take that burden off you a little bit that they carry it with you. And some like to listen to African music. Some al likes to listen to rock music, which is, yeah, it's very crazy music, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, <laughs> and, um, and Coach Rasi told us this, this is this is who we are in South Africa. We are all different, and we do also reminded us about the past, the the hurtful past that we've had, and some people have been healed. Some people are not over that. Some people are still going through it, and it's still passed through generations. And we speak about it amongst our team that these things have to be spoken about. You know, when you talk about transformation, squad depth, and all those kind of things, he, the, the team spoke honestly and said, Coach Chuck and Rassi said. We are going to win, but we're going to be transforming while we're winning because a lot of people didn't get this opportunity. So many people who fought for South Africa to change, who fought for me to be able to put on this jersey, weren't allowed to put on this jersey. So now we're going to make sure that this team transforms. And it transforms not by just putting people of color there. We train them. We make them good enough to be there so that when they do play there, they represent South Africa. And I do believe that everybody who's played in the team has been good enough. And that's the thing also, we need to learn to mind each other in our different cultures, not just in rugby, but in community as well, in businesses, all that we do. You know, you can't just want to force your way because this is how you do things. Think about the next person next to you. And that's what we've learned. And Coach Rasi asked us, let's not keep it here in the team. Let's speak about it openly and honestly. We also want to see in Parliament, we will speak about serious stuff. How are we going to deal? How are people dealing with what happened in South Africa before. How is the next generation going to see the way forward? No, that, that's so important for us in South Africa because I feel like a lot of things are spoken about, but the serious issues because are too sensitive to speak about them in public. But we need to, because we need to learn. We need to know what's the way forward. How do we get better in South Africa? Because I know this win will inspire a lot of people, but it's not going to change how people are in, in circumstance. But for us as players, it's going to give us a platform that we can open more opportunities like with our foundation, the works that we do around South Africa. So, yeah, we, we really hope this just doesn't end in a little bit of celebrations for a week. And we, it needs to do more. You know, it was really hard for us as a team. Think about it, 20 weeks, you're sitting with the same people the whole time. Somewhere, the struggle, 
you, you, you have to find you say you start finding something you like about now I like Evans new haircut now you know so yeah but yeah but thank you again for everything I must tell you when we were in France it was difficult because you know people are hurting the that obviously the country that didn't win and we sat in the hotel we celebrated together but it didn't feel like what it felt like here because the people that we did it for now show us exactly what it means in, in our country and we are very sad that we can't go everywhere and as, as Mr. President said we have to go back some of us to our club some guys are leaving early some guys can't do the whole trophy tour but we do appreciate everyone if we could we honestly would go to all nine provinces because everybody deserves uh, to see the trophy but I do promise that they will get the full energy, the full attention of us while we're on that bus tour. We'll give it everything. We'll try and give back the support that you gave to us. So thank you, Sia Bulela. Bye, thank you. Might as well just end it now, hey. Wow. Um, that's fantastic, Sia. Uh, to, I've just got two questions to the World Cup winning captain, Sia, and the World Cup winning uh, coach, Jock. Please. Uh, call them World Cup winners because they are that. Um, Sia, double. double, thank you, double, <laughs> tuple. Uh, Sia, I just you mentioned culture, and you know the Springboks are a melting pot of, di of diverse cultures. Uh, a very nice video surfaced the other day of you guys walking down the stairs, and Jesse was leading Equijo. We saw the Equijo squad carrying our voices to Paris, and that was you guys hearing us honestly. Um, but just talk to me about Felix Jones. He was singing Leo Quicho, and I was like, an Irish man singing Equicho is fantastic. Uh, how is it that you guys have just found each other so well in this melting pot? And then to you, Jock, um, Marvin Ori, he was the water boy. Um, just talk to me about the role he played. I mean, he always was there and, and on it. And uh, I mean, he did, he did brilliantly well from what we saw. Just give us your thoughts on that as well. Marvin, the president. He's the president. He's the president of my players, so we call him president. <laughs> um, when you when you and you see Philip Jones singing a guitar like that and Jesse leading it, um, that's people think it's a, a, that's how really it is in our in our team, you know. Because some people just talk it, and Felix, I give so much respect to him. He came from Ireland, first world country, 2019 when he first joined us, and. Obviously, he doesn't understand what drives us, why, what, what makes South Africans South Africans. Came in, he bought in, and he saw how the, re re the, the, the rest of the world treat us. And then I remember after the last World Cup, we at Kabecha, and we had, a, we had some time off. And I said, Felix, come, come to Zwede. I want you to see. The, 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 that was after the trophy tour. He was, him and Alan Walters were with us then. They could not believe what they saw when we went, especially in the most disadvantaged areas. People found a way. If they never spring of jersey, they wore a green jersey. And some of the kids chased us for so many kilometers, sprinting, running, you know. And they said, in the for for them, it, it, the country doesn't happen like that. Maybe a few places that they go to, but not the whole of of, of the country will be like that. Then Felix came to Sweden. I took him to. Um, Khalifa and Mafa, where I always go uh, for, for, for Bri, he sat with me, ate with me. I showed him where I slept at my house, you know, and showed him my school and showed him my friends. And he, he to him, it made sense why we have the drive that we have, you know. With the, with the funding that we have compared to the other rugby teams in the world, for us to achieve what we achieve, I don't think we, we understand. But the spirit of South Africa, we don't make excuses. We, we look for opportunity to work as hard as we can. So he put into that. And then the Guijo, he loves the music. I remember when, 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 when we don't sing, when it got quiet after, like, we, when we met this year, and we were like, what's going on? Like, why are you guys not singing anymore? You know, and then we started singing, and then obviously he learned the songs, and I sent some of the songs to him, but, like, he would watch it, and now he knows the words fully. And, and that's what we talk about when we talk about transformation. It's not about numbers. It's about people actually them changing from inside you know and understanding each other's culture and learning to mind each other so yeah that that's what made it so special for us as a group and then even ululating is just so beautiful yeah so you can call him for bookings for mickey d and all those sort of things uh 
Um, in, t in terms of, uh, in terms of, um, <laughs> we have a little joke on that. But no, th th talking about Marvin, I'm probably going to talk about the squad. I think that's probably the biggest thing uh, why we're successful, I think, uh, is that all 33 players, you know, that we can only select 23 to play. And as you guys know, we... Uh, we went with a 5-3 split with uh, a guy like Marnie and Kuba starting in a quarterfinal against France. And then they started again in the semi-final against England. And then for the final, we, we, we decided our tactic, rightly or wrongly, obviously rightly now because it worked out well, uh, uh, we went with a 7-1 split, which meant that they had to fall out, you know. And um, uh, yes, and, and, and their hearts... Obviously, it's broken. Everybody wants to play in a final. But I can promise you, and I'll get to more of it now, with it, when we had our training session that Monday, uh, so the team was announced on Monday morning, when we trained that Monday afternoon, Kubis was the best version of Aaron Smith and Moni was the best version of Richie Mwanga. Studied their mannerisms, their profiles, and that's probably the beauty of this team. You know, they, they get over it. Um, um, and then they have to fulfill another role. Uh, in the previous two games, their role was to start and to lead the team to a victory. In this, uh, in the last game, their role was to be the opposition. And that's Marvin. You know, Marvin, I think, played one and a half games. But Marvin was Mario Toje. He was a br he, 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 he worked the other opposition. <laughs> and that's Marvin. You know, For Marvin, that I one. Played one and a half and uh, uh, so Marvin, Marvin was brilliant. Was he, uh, he just fulfilled his role. He, he, he worked the other up. <laughs> <laughs> for that one <laughs> and uh, uh, so Marvin was brilliant he uh, he just fulfilled his role he, he knew if there was an injury he would have been straight in did the hard work uh, and then lastly um, the squad of 33 players the the wives and the partners you know when you have the wives and partners and a guy like Quibbers or a guy like Marnie doesn't get selected or a guy like Marvin doesn't get selected it's easy that the partners can become envious you know because their husbands aren't selected but it never happened you know and uh, 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 they pick up the pieces the partners the wives and the the partners and the kids they pick up the pieces when when we when they don't get selected and uh, uh, and they don't become envious and there was never a riff and never a tiff and the guys the wives who didn't uh, uh, his, whose husbands weren't selected was the one leading the parties helping in uh, making it fun so no it was a, i think that's probably the strength of this group it is a it's a it's an unbelievable group of people. Um, Jacques, sorry, um, I think you've, you've been asked this question a couple of times before the start of that final week. Just from a personal level, and I know you've been in the system for, for quite a long time. You spoke about, you know, 2013 coming into, um, you know, the, the, the institute and, and learning about, you know, new players like Sia and, and, and everybody that's involved in this. Um, squad, but personally, from your point of view, how has this group of players grown? And and as you move forward, what kind of legacy do you think that this group of players will leave uh, from a South African rugby point of view, having known them from probably when they were 17, 18, 19 years yeah. old? Yeah, I think that's probably yes. That's an unbelievable privilege that I've had. Um, how old do you now, Sia? He's 32, and we started work. How long have we been working together? 18. So it's how many? I've got Billy Gibbs. Oxy, 14, 14 years. 14. So okay, 14 years. So if you, so we 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 we've, we've been working together. Myself, you've been uh, Chesey. Maybe a year later. I think Chesey were a year behind them. Uh, Oxy, maybe a little bit later uh, from RTS Lubuta. But uh, the, the point I'm trying to make is, let's say we work 14 years together and he's 32. We've probably been, it sounds long, 14 years, but it, it, it's more than a third of, of Sia's life. And that's probably the, 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 the fortunate thing that I had being involved with, with this group for such a long time at different levels at, from school level. So, so I, I knew them from naughty uh, from the, when they were naughty and they were adversity and they, they uh, yeah, when we all were naughty. Uh, till now they are husbands, uh, they are fathers, they are uh, unbelievable with their kids and uh, unbelievable family men. And what legacy will they leave? You know what? They didn't change. See, the Sia that I met 
when he was 18 is still the CR that he's now and the, the Cheslin that I met when he played fullback uh, um, that was it. we had a mean back three uh, in that under 19 uh, group uh, a lot of them went on to play sevens Justin Geduld and uh, those boys they could step so he's never changed uh, the fame never got to them um, uh, uh, they they never go. They never became entitled. So I think that's the legacy they will leave. You know, title. Um, uh, I, I think when you become a Springbok, you can be. Uh, I'm going to use them. You can be Eben. There's Eben the person, and there's Eben the Springbok rugby player. And they never became the title. Does it make sense? Sia never became Sia the Springbok captain. He always stayed Sia. And I think that's the beauty of this group. They never became the title. They just stayed the person, and and that's the beautiful thing from them. Can I ask uh, Ox, uh, Cheslin, and Evan to come in front, please? Are they coming up? Oh, they're coming up with I want you. I want you. Well, they can come now. <laughs> okay. You can come now. Yeah. yeah. Come now. We're moving. Yeah, yeah. Make, yeah. It make it bigger. Make the service bigger. Nice. <laughs> bring, bring, bring two chairs. No, they can. at the moment you're starting a new journey going back to France how are you seeing this new journey with Racing 92 and how has that changes the dynamics with you still being available for the national side in your capacity as a captain my second um, um, Chislin, on a lighter note there was a historic moment um, when um, Sia Colisi hoisted that trophy a historic moment <laughs> and you were fighting with a flag there so can you just possibly just give us an idea what was happening there with the flag and, and, and just lastly um, Jacques <laughs> Jacques, jy mag net Afrikaans vinnig ons veeltalige land bid kortliks, is dit hoe jy jou loopbaan afval gesluit het, meneer, is dit die beste manier om jou loopbaan af te sluit, praat ons oor jou, jou, jou journey wat jy tegen gegaan het, en iemand jy gevraag die legacy wat jy achter wil laat, hoe denk jy moet die succession plan wees nou vir SA Rugby, vir al vir die springbokke, meneer? Thank you so much. Jesse, you, you start. Jesse. Jesse. About being captain, I don't know oh, what's going to be. I'm, I'm, I'm not the coach. Um, what matters to me the most, as long as I can put on the Springbok jersey, it doesn't matter whether I'm a captain or not. That's not the most important. Because if I say to you that I dreamt of being the Springbok captain, I'll be lying to you. So as long as I'm available for selection and I get selected, that's all I care about. But I am looking forward to the to to the to to the new journey and yeah hopefully it go well but for now we're just gonna enjoy being home enjoy being double world champions back to back. I must get he must get he must get used to the croissants as it pop and balls on Percy man is an Afrikaans there. Um in terms of fun fun uh Ja, van mij. Uh, uh, eerstens, ik denk, ik um, uh, begin met die succession planning. Ik zal dit zal obviously los voor Mark en voor Rassi en voor die leier groep. Um, uh, ek kan jou beloof dat dit sal intens wees, ons sal dat hierdie periode nou tot die einde van die jaar sal a, sal a goeie uh, um, uh, oorhandiging wees en uh, intellectuele property sal gedeel word en as hulle goeie review wees, uh, dis maar net hoe deeglik hulle is en, en, en ek weet hulle sal die rechte planne maak, maar wat hy planne is, ek bedoel, ek denk nie dis vir my om, om te weet nie, hulle sal die rechte planne maak, dit, dit beloof ek ja. En dan in termen van, uh, je weet, ek in 2011 het ek, was ik gelukkig om 7 weke by die, by die, of 7 toetsen saam met die bokke te wees. Je weet, en uh, yes, ek het gedoge gaan nooit weer betrokken raak nie. En toen in 2016, toen ek vir 3 toetsen uh, tegen, tegen Ierland. En, en uh, maar toen ek klaar uh, um, uh, aangetekend by, by Manster en toe ek daar weg is, dus denk ek, oké, okay, dit is 10 toetsen. Yes, maar dit was ongelooflike 10 
toetsen samen met die bokke. Want het is ongelooflijk spannend om deel van te wees. So, en nou is ik weer, en baie mense dink, dit is die einde, maar, maar die ene wat ik geleer het, die leven, ons beplan ons levens en ons dink, yes, ek wil, ek wil oor een jaar daar wees en oor een jaar daar wees en oor een jaar daar wees, maar weet jy, die leven, die leven het sy eie plannen met jou. So, um, vir nou, vir nou is dit, uh, uh, um, uh, is dit uh, 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 die einde, uh, vir nou, met hierdie groep, maar, maar of die einde is, vir my saam met die bokke, uh, dit, dit kan niemand sê nie, ek sal enige tyd weer wil terugkom, ek moet goed genoeg wees, ek moet relevant wees, uh, die spelers wil jou daar hee, die mense moet jou daar wil hee, en, en, en as dit dan die geval is, uh, en dit gebeur weer, het sal ongelooflik wees. Okay, um, I have a few questions. Firstly, to, to your coach. Um, I just want to check, going back to the issue of money, um, was it the most difficult decision you have had to take um, as a coach, leaving him out of the, of the final? And to see, uh, um, the, the, I, I don't know if you have applied your mind properly on this thing. I know a lot of things has been happening over the last few days. But they always say that uh, you know a good dancer knows when to... To, to leave the stage. I'm talking about not as a player, but as a captain. Um, have you applied your mind of maybe saying you can you know, step away from the captaincy and, and, and give somebody new leadership uh, to take over, looking at the new cycle of the four years going to the next World Cup, uh, if you have you or have you not? And to Cheslin, um, what went through your mind during those last few minutes? Uh, when you had to, uh, <laughs> we, no, most of us, we felt sorry for you because it was really a very dead situation. You know, and to in so to to you and um, Ox, um, we 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 good like young after everything that has happened so far. How are you feeling? <laughs> you start. You start. Huh? I'm happy. <laughs> get a good like it. I be love at man. Uh, yeah. So taking it in, Mara. Good like it. I be all that all I have to say. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, was it a tough decision to leave money out? Yes, it broke my, it, it breaks your heart as a coach. It, it's probably the, for me, from moving from assistant coach to head coach, that is the that is the worst part of the job, is to tell players that that um, you are not selected. And and money, money is definitely. And now I can't say it will be the next coach that will decide that, but I I believe he has the ability to be the future. If you think about how 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 excellent he was, I think him and Damien Willem says since since Andre got injured uh, in Adelaide, it's a long time ago now. It was 2022, I think, uh, third game in in rugby championship. Uh, the next week we played. Uh, we played Australia in Sydney. We haven't we haven't won there in 27 years. And Damien Willem says the fly off, and he led us. Uh, uh, not that it's him alone; it's a team effort. But I mean, we we for the first time in 27 years, uh, uh, the late Ian McIntosh team last won a game there. Uh, uh, they won in Sydney. So that's the. Uh, and then from then on, obviously we had a e cup against Ireland, and then against France with a red card. And and from then on, yes, we're b between Damien Willem and Marnie as as fly offs, they were they were phenomenal. And and uh, uh, the discussions that we had in the final of of the, uh, they obviously lost out not because they weren't good enough they lost out because uh, we believed that. A seven-one split was the way to go to neutralise New Zealand. Uh, so whenever we make uh, do team selection, there's a lot of things we look at. We look at um, uh, GPS stats. We look at how, m how much minutes they played. We look at uh, 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 for interest sake, uh, if you uh, the, the semi final, uh, the quarter final against France. I mean, uh, Akubus Reinach plays against the Pont often. Uh, if you look at the semi final against England, uh, the, the the scrum off that plays for for England. Comes comes from Northampton Saints where Kobus applied his trade that that he was a youngster in the academy so obviously Kobus and knew him very well uh, and and was almost his senior so there's a lot of factors that we calculate whenever we do a selection uh, 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 and the analysis we did on New Zealand we believe that a 7-1 was the way to go and unfortunately uh, they had to stay out but like I said they took it like a like men 
uh, and no egos. And yes, they were heartbroken. They should be because, uh, because it's such an honor to play. And they were good enough to play in the World Cup final, as was Andre Estres and as was Kane and Moody. If you think well, how, how they played against New Zealand the previous time, we've given New Zealand the biggest, the biggest uh, 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 score margin in the history between South Africa and New Zealand. And, and Kane and Moody and Andre Estres was the, the, the 12 and the 13. Uh, so they also deserved. Uh, I think that's the beauty of this squad. Everybody was good enough uh, from a performance level uh, um, to play. But unfortunately, that is the way we, we made decisions. And, uh, and uh, the players, like we mentioned numerous times, the players were big enough to take it like that. No, no. We, no, just obviously um, getting a yellow card was, was disappointing and you you drop a whole team, you drop a whole country uh, in in minutes like that um, in the final. So yes, I'll be honest. I didn't watch the last few minutes of the game. I've Me seen either. a few. I've seen a few videos of of it now. But um, honestly, uh, God did it for us, and um, yeah, just grateful to great grateful to to be sitting here and. Having the webellers in South Africa, so yeah. Uh, for me, Zia, I have to answer. Uh, um, no, no, honestly, I haven't. I haven't thought about that. I think the the most important, most urgent, obviously, has been the World Cup, and um, and I said earlier, the in like being Springbok captain, obviously, is huge, especially for for the for the country but for us like i i've only got a small role to play within the team i've got even i've got Dwayne, i've got all this and we're all leaders in the group we're all in charge of a part of the game i think whoever is primo captain is always going to have the most um uh, support and they they it, it will they will fit in like, 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 like a club it's all about what you do and while you're there but um yeah I, it doesn't as long as I can put on the Springbok jersey, I'm I'm happy. Is it jersey? Uh, could I please um, ask guys those that are asking questions, the two questions left, could we get could we restrict it to one question each, please, so that we can get Mark and the minister up because we are running out of time now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Jacques, over here. In front, <laughs> just how difficult is it, you know, walking away from this team um, at a moment like this? But also on the flip side, uh, how important is it to walk away when when you are on the up and and you know the nation isn't turning against you because results are not going your way? Um, yeah, I'm, I, I just say, yeah, I don't think I'm walking away. I'll never walk away from a spring box. The spring box have given me everything, uh, and in the spring box, I'll say, um, are the, the players, you know, I, I'm I'm not a very much Sia did his knee, so and you asked him to do that. So I think um, no, it's 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 nice for me the fact that we get that, that I'm I'm moving on to a next next chapter and only a next chapter um, for 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 a couple of years. Uh, and like I mentioned, nobody knows how it's going to go uh, forward. Life life has its own way how how he deals with it, uh, and and the, the road that he puts you on, uh, or destiny does. So, but hopefully. You'll never know. Hopefully, I'll be back. But um, uh, yes, again, the players—the players make you you nothing. Cl coaches are nothing without players. Uh, they are everything. Thank you, thank you um, to the world champions. I just want to say thank you for defending the Rugby World Cup championship and uh, giving us all the bragging rights for the next four years uh, against all of those other fans. Um, I'd just like to know from from the players' side, especially, gentlemen, you think you can do it again and complete the treble? In Yibin. defense of the World Cup. Yibin. Yibin. Yes. <laughs> uh, that, that wraps up the questions over here, guys. But, but before we do, because I think you'd enjoy this one. Yevon, uh, tell us about your haircut. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. <laughs> uh, um, 
Yeah, so it was about five weeks ago. Uh, I think me, me and Archie Snayman spoke on the bus, and uh, I just said, if, if we win the World Cup, I'll uh, cut my hair the same as, as yours. And obviously, after, after the the win in the final, uh, it was about half past four in the morning. Um, and the, yeah, the last time I drank water was in the game. <laughs> so we weren't drinking water. Um, and he just reminded me of my bet. And obviously, I wanted to be a man of my word. And I mean, winning this cup with these guys, I'll do anything. So, yeah, I decided to, to cut my hair. And, and, and he sat me down and Damien Valencia cut my hair. And I've gotten a few compliments, uh, probably from all my friends. Uh, my wife also, and my wife also says it's not too bad. So, as long as she's happy, I'm happy. Oh, so Zina, Zina, can I say? Um, sorry, just on a, it's not a more of a sensitive note. We, I don't know if you guys have seen, but um, after the game. There was a video that went out on TikTok about Jody Barrett um, that somebody thinks he didn't shake the president's hand and he's been getting a lot of like bad media or people are, 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 are like being, 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 being hard on him. But obviously he's going through, it's tough losing a World Cup final and obviously getting that kind of negative media um, is not good. And I know him personally, as something that, that I know very well. He's not that kind of person. The video was taken probably after he shook the hand, he obviously shook the president's hand. And we just want to say, we the South African team, I spoke to Coach Chuck about it. We we are fully behind him. We respect New Zealand a lot. They respect us a lot. So please just give him a slack. Let's just celebrate. There's nothing worse than losing a game and then also being on, on, on media, um, getting all these kind of messages. So it's really been tough for him and obviously the team and his family, but as a South African team, we're all behind them. Yeah, so yeah, please, um, if you can, he did shake the president's hand. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Sorry, the last no. one. <laughs> obviously, the pro tiers, uh, in India, and and they are making us proud. Um, they are they are fighting as hard as you can. They've been sending us messages of support um, to Temba and the team. I just want to actually encourage the country. Please do get behind them as much as you have um, and behind us. Um, they really do deserve our support, and they've been showing why they de that they they deserve our support. They gonna do something that's never been done before so we're gonna have to support them like we've never done it before and, and you i honestly i don't need to tell you how well they're playing because you can see so please let's get behind them and we hope we've given them a little bit of support of inspiration and um, to 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 go through this imagine um a world cup winning team and the pro tiers also do it so yeah temba and the team we're all behind you we love you and we appreciate you Cheers. Thank you, gentlemen. We'll let you go to the hotel now. I'd like to call the minister and Mark Alexander to please come up to the top table now. Minister, minister. Hi. He's just arrived. Short, 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 yeah, short, short, Thank, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.
Yeah, we'll see you there. Right, thank you very much. Uh, for those who'd like to speak to the Minister and Mr. Mark Alexander, we have 15 minutes for that. To follow them, then go with the Okay. I'll see you at the hotel. Yes. Good in you, man. Same my friend, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, yeah, this is a rubbing mic. I'm just gonna say 15 minutes max, my friend, and then we just check with questions. But I, Morgan, do you have the mic? Yeah, we need to close that, that door, okay? Wait, where is it? Okay, we'll start with more. Okay, cool. Can we close this door, please, guys? Cool, cool. I'll come with you now. How's it taste? All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just, just a note, this has to be a quick media conference. This is going to be 15 minutes max, so if you have questions, please raise your hand. And if I can ask again, can we ask one question at a time to give as many people as possible an opportunity? Uh, first question. Thank you, Zina. Mr. Minister, if we can talk business... Uh, next question, Minister, is will the Springboks be getting any bonuses for their achievements in France? That's one question. Question two. Um, this is for um, the President or the Minister. How do we continue, Minister, this legacy of the Springboks and how do we inspire other people to carry on, people who play rugby, how do we inspire them to be in the Springboks and what will you guys be doing in the next four years to make sure that the Springboks win back to back, maybe even triple this time and bring, the, bring back the Web Edis Trophy again for the third time? Thank you uh, to the President of, of SARU. South African rugby says it believes Bongi and Bonambi on the, on the issue of uh, Vatsakant and the English rugby union says it believes Tom Curry. World rugby has closed this matter from South African rugby perspective. Is this going to linger? Is there any need to settle that at all? Okay, okay. okay. I want to start with the last question first. I think the matter is settled. You know, world rugby listen to the to the audio that was on the field and i think it'll be it'll, it's ludicrous to think that bongi would say so, so, such a thing just the past we come from you know and and looking at, at, at the makeup of our team we are quite a, a diverse group of players so I, I i just can't believe he could make such a stupid uh, statement and, and and knowing the person i we believe that bongi bongi didn't say that Just on, on uh, 
prize money also, Mr. Alexander, it's a bit of a taboo subject on how much the, the rugby world champions uh, actually win along with the Webb Ellis Trophy. Uh, do you mind maybe taking us into confidence in terms of what the prize money is for, for winning the Rugby World Cup and, and what how will that uh, be disseminated amongst the, the players? Uh, world Rugby doesn't give you prize money. There's no prize money pay for the trophy, but we have win bonuses that we, we plan for four years in advance. You answered yeah? And uh, so they are taken care of by that. So our players receive prize money, and, uh, and uh, yes, we, we plan for it four years in advance. And that we do from, from World Cup to World Cup. So, Mr. Minister, what, what does it sound like this is the boom matter for you, though? Because a very senior person in SRB once told me that when it comes to any other national team, you guys are very keen on speaking openly about rewarding them. Can you please, I think many of our colleagues want you to answer that question. Mr. President, can I just ask you, um, succession plan, Mr. President, is it too early to ask about that? We know Jacques Ninaba is moving on. We know Rassi Rasmus's contract is only until 2025. 20, we know Sia Kalix is going to France now. Can you possibly just give us an idea of what the thinking will be going ahead? So thank you. I, I, I think we, 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 we'll do the wash-up of the tour, and we'll talk about uh, what, where we're going to go next. But there's no rush. We, we have a, the director of rugby could fill in that role in the meantime. And we're taking our time to see how uh, the, the other coaches within the system have feared thus far. And then we'll make a decision. So we, there's no big rush for us to, to go ahead and appoint a coach tomorrow. We have cover, enough cover, so the, the, the programs can continue. Yes, we are looking from within as well because we are building succession. We are building capacity within the organization, so we will look deep in the organization. If, if we fail to find the right person, we look outside. No, but, but that's 25. That's, that's two years from now. It's two years from now, so there's no rush for us to go out there. We're going to do the wash-up. We're going to see what our, our, our succession plan looks like and where we are in that planning. And based on that, we'll either decide to get a coach next year, the following year, or maybe the, or maybe the director of rugby will coach the team until the next World Cup. But there's no rush right now, so we, 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 we're not rushing to do anything. And we've got a, a system within, a fast-track system of coaches that, we, that we've implemented, so we're going to look within. Thank you very much, guys. That concludes uh, this section of the news card. No, Mr. Uh, Minister? No, I, th I think we, we, we may be comparing uh, apples and bananas. If you ask what we said about other national teams compared to rugby, you can see how structured and organized Saru is. I mean, the issue of bonuses were resolved not on the eve, on the doorstep of the tournament, way before that. And it can, you, can only, uh, you can only wish that other federations get inspiration. And I think it is that kind of leadership that is required by other federations, where you don't have to deal with issues at the door of tournament because it may affect the performance of players. Uh, the president last night, as part of recognition, did um, already declare the 15th of December as a public holiday. It's a recognition. Uh, you may not look at it from a monetary point of view. We do think that uh, they deserve. As a country, we need a lot of counseling. Uh, I think we'll use the 15 and the days before that. The three games were really uh, tight, quite tough for me, especially those of you who watch on TV. I watched them live. Uh, it was a bit uh, if I did not collapse, I will never collapse again. <laughs> but you know, uh, whether you win by a point or a point, it's a win. It's a point. It's a point. <laughs> so, so South Africa is a, South Africa has a point. So I don't think uh, compared to what we dealt with before, we must compare with this. Uh, I went to <clears throat> when they when we played in the champs with uh, Wallabies at Loftus. Um, I visited what is a, a, a place called Poland. I spoke to the president about it. To see some of these young players who, come, who play for uh, Spinbox, who come from Poland, to see the kind of school system they have, well organized. I was inspired. Then I realized why we have some of the best young rugby players in the, in the Spinbox. And these are some of the lessons as we build a school sport we must learn from. Uh, very solid, very organized. And I think these are the lessons going forward we, must, uh, we will carry. I hope other federations, and I think Saru, will be able to share 
their experience, their efficiency in dealing with these issues with other federations. See, we also arrived, we need some rest. <laughs> One more there. Last question. He was here since in the morning. Uh, Minister, this, this one's for you again. Um, as much as you speak of the, the structures at the schools and everything, and obviously we, we all believe that it, it's, it's needed throughout for every sporting code, the bulk of the players in the spring box, let's say a, a spring box starting 15 or, or a pro tier starting uh, 11, almost all of them have gone to Ivy League schools. Almost all of them have, uh, you know, the top tier uh, schools, Hilton, uh, Saints, uh, Cares, those schools. The children in, in Botsabelo, in Tabanchu, in Kronstadt, still don't have that privilege, and and that what 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 does what does it? How do we resolve that? You miss the school sport in Daba. Uh, in the declaration and in my speech, which I'll send to you, I think there was somebody from newsroom. We talk about school sport, but also we need an integrate as part of integrated school sport in the country to deal with the the history of former Model C schools that have got better facilities as opposed to public schools which are 23,000 with less facilities. We address that. So as part of this transition, we go into detail about it. Kelebo. Thank you very Let's much. Let's go and celebrate outside. Yes, yes. yes. I like that, Mr. Minister. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Minister. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, everybody, for being here today and enjoy the celebrations. Is the microphone?